Okay, so I went full ando again and forgot to hit the damn record button. But fortunately, nothing too terribly important happened. So we've already been to this location and we've uh, cleared out all the optional objectives. So now we can just focus on going after the fortress here. So let's take a look at what I got done because I quit playing this game for a little while because Darksiders 3 came out. So let's take a look. Okay, so we've got the Overlord uncovered. He's level 53 and he's an Oleg High. He's a big fella. So we still have to get both of these war chiefs uncovered. There's one bodyguard right there. And then we need to fill this war chief slot. So we still have a lot of work to do here. Now I do remember that I got some new gear and as you can see I've captured some of these orcs. But we're basically almost starting from scratch so fortunately you didn't really miss out on anything. So going full ando is never a good idea. Don't do that. That's within the inventory though. Let's see what it is. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're putting that on. Uh, let's ditch this bow. Oh my god, 11 elf shot. That's going to make such a huge difference. We have to kill an enraged captain to get the unlock. And then we have a 43% increased range damage to enraged enemies. Ah, I'm not going to worry about that one too much. And we got this here. It's basically the same, but we have a 19% chance that a critical hit lights an enemy on fire, so let's put it on and ditch this. Okay. Looking mighty fine. So let's go hunt us down some orcs. Now, who's our first target going to be? So we got to get these war chiefs figured out. Well, these guys are epics, so I might want to just kill them outright and get the gear from them. And then capture some other lesser orcs. Or we go to the fight pits and try to put an orc in place here. How far away is this guy? This guy's actually not far. That guy's on the other side of the map. So let's actually just go kill this Ola guy to get his gear. And hopefully pick up some nice tasty worms along the way. It's going to take me a minute to get used to this game because Darksiders 3 is much harder and requires a lot more reaction time. So it'll actually be nice to kind of relax with this game a little bit. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go. One more chief. We've seen this guy before, haven't we? Well, he's mortally flammable, but... I'd rather capture him. What are his strengths? He's beast-proof, enraged by curse. Let's try to capture this guy. He's like some manner of rape! I've got an idea. I will give your home to my heart. Oh, I forgot he was mortally flammable and I just set him on fire. Oh well. Well, at least we got some garbage gear out of it that we can scrap. We can upgrade this dagger that we have now. Oh, Elf Shot Replenish on a Stealth Kill. That'll be nice. Alright. Get out of my way, fools. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Oh, 
Oh no. Curse, enraged by Karagors and flies, so that should actually be pretty easy to avoid. Oh, he's got mines and bombs on him, though. That's going to be a pain. He's afraid of spiders. There might be some spider eggs lying around. And he's a soft target. Okay. This guy probably won't be too bad. Told me that come on, Zorro come on out. crew had setting themselves up around the pit. No bunch of necromancers. This isn't time for you to drink tea, buddy. It's time for me to stab you. Stand and fight this time, or run away again. Trying to get him out of the tent, and he just does not want to go. Treasure on you too. Give it to me. Really need to get some elf shot here, though. Oh, I might be able to trick him here. Get a stealth hit. What the hell was that? So what was that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, whew. That could have been nasty. Alright, got another skill to unlock. Let's see what we can do. It's really not much useful for the grog. So I'm not even going to worry about upgrading grogs. Consume increases wrath. I don't really use consume all that often. Oh, an ice storm shatters your target, causing nearby enemies to flee in terror. That could be really nice, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Now let's check this new gear that we got out of him. Kill an enemy while mounted on a Karagor five times. That's easy. Yep. Well, the gear was worth it, so that's good. But let's not focus on grabbing gear constantly, because we'll be here all day if we do that. Wait a minute. No, don't kill him, don't kill him. Ah. Come on. 
No, another one. Take me without your pet to help you, weakling. Naruk. Terrified of spiders, but I don't see any spiders around. He's beast proof, of course he is. Well, let's see what happens. Karagor, I need to go get all shot. They're gonna kill my Karagor so fast, though. There we go. Yeah, we might as well just keep going after him. Having 11 elf shot is so nice. He is constantly dropping bombs, too. He is not going to make it easy for me to get to him, especially since I don't have enough health shot to hit a Shadow Strike. There we go. Come here. Yeah, I knew he was going to be too high level. Shame the sorry ass. Okay, now... Let's actually try to get some work done here. Oh, go away. Okay, he has no bodyguards right now, but this guy has one. And he's right meow. Oh, we're right next to him, too. Oh, he's actually going after one of our orcs. This will make things a lot easier. Very low level, so he'll be easy to capture too. Yeah, he's only sitting at 18. Immune to executions, so that's and enraged by burning, so we do need to keep that in mind going against him. Also, that should be a piece of cake.
I think I might have already shamed this guy because he seems like he's deranged. And great, our guy just set him on fire. Well, we're running. Nope. Well, he's still running away from us, though. That's good. As long as he doesn't swing at me, I don't care what he does. And yeah, now he's mad. Well, since he's already enraged, we can't enrage him anymore, right? Gonna have to let her yeah we guys just have to let it run out and now you're mine you are mine I should not have used my elven light there that was a complete waste okay so you can infiltrate and now we've got a bodyguard on the inside so let's go after a war chief now Well, we still need intel on him, though. Should be able to find some on the way. Wait, come here. I don't know what you have, but I know I want it. Oh, gem. Ah, another ambush. Uh, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Me mates here say I shouldn't waste time talking about killing you and just kill you. <laughs> okay, game. Oh, you're afraid of burning, are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't that unfortunate? Another one? And you get a beast rider. So I guess I'm not getting my Karagor. Because I just oh, that's unfortunate. Get off that Karagor. long range is not gonna let it happen no chance what that's an ability he has an ability that cancels my last chances wow that is some bullshit wow I've never seen that ability before they both got leveled up from that too Well, that changes things a little bit. All right, let's go back to what we were actually doing and deal with that damn war this chief. This is true.
This game is so dynamic at times, For now, it's almost AIDS. Will bring light back to Mordor. Believe me, I like the unpredictability, but sometimes that unpredictability will completely backfire on you, as you just saw. Let's check our gems. See if we've got anything we can combine. Nope, not quite. We're getting there, though. There's our worm. Chief's strengths. Poison proof. Rage by weakness. Rage when his bodyguard is like, well, we don't have to worry about that because his bodyguard is ours. He's got that no chance bullshit too. Huh. He's afraid of Karagors though. Range attacks, executions, and fire. Alright. I've been getting gang banged by every single orc in this area. Was like an all you can fuck buffet. This bait will draw Karagors to sow confusion and death among the War Chief's troops. To brutalize kills for our optional and then shoot bait? That's it? Good lord, this is gonna be easy. It's a bloody target! I'll try that again, see what happens. I can't hit that guy up there. Oh, maybe? There we go. It's not highlighting him like it normally does. Let's get our brutalizes real quick. Actually, I suppose we could let some Karagors out now. I think that's Karagor bait out there. Yeah, that's one. Game. There we go. Pretty soon. It's almost impossible to cut through. And there's both of our brutalizes. So knock down one more Karagor bait, and we're good. That's a Drake bait. Let's not do that. Okay, so he's good against poison, weak against fire, right? Yep, alright. Well, let's bring in a drink, why not? Oh, 
Ah, oh, so close. It's that Olog. There, he's out. You know what, there's no point in shaming him. Because we're going to have to replace him anyways, might as well just kill him outright. Chief down. Oh my god, I got a new ring. Alright, we've now disabled the poison siege beast. Ooh, that'll definitely come in handy. This ring better be good. Well, it's better than what we have, but hold on, we can already upgrade the, the other one. Allied orcs take 50 less damage? Mm, that does sound nice. This one is 10 focus recovery per kill. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We definitely are putting that on. And then we just have to one sh one headshot on an enemy while we have no focus. That's really easy to do. And so let's go ahead and upgrade this. Now, amount of characters recover 15% health when they howl. Hmm. That'll be interesting. What do we need to do? Oh, yeah. I'm, we're not worried about that one. That's fully upgraded. Let's get this one knocked out. Now we have health recovery on critical hits. Oh, we're getting pretty beefy now. I like this. Okay. Now we need to go after those bodyguards. Or we can go straight to the fight pits and start putting our orcs into these empty slots. Because if we die or we pass the time, these slots are going to get filled. So maybe we should just deal with the fight pits now. What is all this? I haven't captured any of these guys. They're way too high level. I don't know how I have these guys. Let's let's not do this right now. Let's wait. Oh, you know what? This is what's left over from uh, when they had those stupid loot boxes in the game. Yep, see, unopened chests. I don't know why they're still here, because you can't... Like, the marketplace doesn't even exist anymore. But let's worry about this later, and let's do this the old-fashioned way. Who's our highest level? 23? Oh! We have a Blood Brothers. We have two Blood Brothers under our control. That's really good. Well, 23 is the best we're going to get. Go. So we're going to send him to infiltrate. And now... Let's go to the fight pits. I don't think we're that far from them. No, we're not. We're pretty close. Well, that orc we captured is still just having a field day back there. So I run out of focus. Yeah, let's try to get a headshot so we can get that ring unlock bonus. Doink. Done. So let's upgrade that real quick. So now we have focus recovery on every kill. That will make a huge difference going forward. God, that Drake is still running around. All right, let's check this orc that we're gonna have to fight. Well, we're higher level, so at least we've got an advantage. Ooh, terrified of spiders and stealth on our guy, but there won't be any spiders or stealth running around, so we don't have to worry about it. So his strengths: no fire, no curse, and he's enraged by frost. That's easy to work with. 
He's going to have savages with him. Well, we've got a Karagor in there. So he's heavily damaged by beast attacks. That'll help. Becomes temporarily dazed when his rage wears off, but we're not going to be enraging him. So ranged attacks, executions, and stealth. So really, if we just give... Let's check our guy again. Does he have a gang with him? He has a gang of savages. Sniper shot. I think we can just take him out right without having to beef him up at all. Well, let's see what happens. I will put you in your place. I'm ready for more blood. Come on, Golem, you got it. You're gonna have to shoot at him at some point, pal. The savage is gonna kill the caribou at this rate. See, they were smart. They went after the savages first. Then our guy decided to sit there and fiddle fuck around. There you go. There's a good hit. That did a lot of damage, too. Oh, fuck him up. Yeah, beat his ass. Game over. Oh, gnarly. Good shit. Alright, we got a war chief now. Good job, Golm. We got some garbage armor we can scrap while we're at it. That's really lucky because we didn't have to spend any Mirian or anything on that. Take a look at the army, see what we got next. Oh, that's nice. So we have a war chief that has a blood brother backing him up. Excellent. Well, we might as well go ahead and fill this spot, too, since we're right here next to the fight pits. So 20... Well, we've got a 24 here. So let's send him into the pits. And who's he going to be fighting? He's fighting this guy, who's a 28. Ah. Let's check the details on him. We need intel. Right, let's go grab some intel and let's come back to the pits. Shouldn't be that hard. You know what? We haven't named this fortress yet. Hmm. That's, um... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call it Wom. A woman? No, no. Rum. Just so I can keep up the Monty Python references. Alright, let's find our worm. <laughs> There's a lot of treasure orcs around, too. Might as well grab them over here. Oh, worm. There's one. Mortal beast fodder. Really? He's... He doesn't have backup or anything. No, this guy is definitely doable. He's flammable, and he's mortal to beasts. Yeah, this... Our, our guy can get him. I think we can get him. Let's find out. Head of the five pits. Pardon me, fellows. I have a bloodbath to watch. Okay, so what we're gonna we do need to beef up our orc though. Who's going into the pits? Garl Sawbones. What a badass name. Garl. Okay, so let's put him on a Karagor. Garl. 
So he's already got a flame weapon. But let's bring in uh, at least something to help him out. Warrior gangs are cheap. We'll just throw them in. Hopefully they can uh, just keep this bodyguard busy. Well, he's not a bodyguard. He's the captain. So if he can keep them busy, if we can get one strike from the Karagor, it could be an instant kill. Alright. Let's do this. Now let's see if you can get past me. I hope you can entertain me before you die. Karagor! Well, the distraction's working. Go in there, dude. Get him. Come on, man. Go. There you go. He stays. That's your chance. Yes! Mortal strike. Mortal strike from a Karagor. Perfect. This is why it's so important to study all this stuff. Oh, beautiful. Oh, got a new ring. Is it any good? I doubt I'm, I doubt we're going to get rid of it. Or get rid of the, this one we have on. No, no way. But we do need to scrap these. At least get some decent Mirian out of it. Okay. So now we have two war chiefs in place. And we can actually capture more guys to betray the Overlord. Which will definitely make things a bit easier. Let's see how beefy this guy is. Well, we don't know. We're going to have to get some intel on him. But we still need to deal with this guy. He's got one bodyguard, level 24. And we're level 24, so we can actually capture this guy. And have him turn on the war chief. And looks like he's pretty close to an area we can fast travel to. Yes, he is. Right on top of it.